to export records using Data Loader. Firstly, open up Data Loader and make sure you are logged in to the relevant Salesforce org that you want to export records from. Then, as the label would suggest, click on export. It'll bring up a new dialog window where you select the object that you want to export data from. So you can, by default, it just shows you sort of most popular common objects, but you can select all objects if you wish. But in my case, I'm just going to do a simple example of exporting all of the con, um, account records. Sorry. So I'm going to select account. Now you see, if I press next, I'll say error creating data access object. So I need to create a more specific location for the export file. So I'm going to say browse and I'm just going to say downloads folder save. So you can make anywhere, desktop, whatever you want to do. But once it's got an actual file path, it'll then be able to proceed. So now you get to select which account fields you want to include on your data export. I'm just going to select a few, for example, doesn't really matter which ones. I'll get name and ID and that should do it. Name, there we go. So you can select all fields or you can clear and start again. But what it does as you select the object and select the fields, it builds a so cool query. So Salesforce object query language. And then it just gives you an export based on the query that you develop. So if you wish, you can sort of filter it. So have clauses. So I want to have accounts where active equals yes, just for example. So now we should get all accounts and I'm going to see the account number, the active status, the account ID and the name from the account object where active value equals yes. So if I now go finish. You've chosen to begin. Do you want to do that? I'm going to say yes. The operation has completed. So it's told me there were 13 extractions. So it's found 13 account records and I can view that extraction. So here is a CSV viewer. So this is an exact uh, representation of what the CSV, CSV file that I've now downloaded looks like. So these are the columns and these are the records. And that is now done. So now you can start something else or move on with your day and do another activity. Hope that helps.